Sir Jim Ratcliffe's ruthless Ten Hag decision. As Ten Hag slams Man United player in huge bust-up, Sir Jim Ratcliffe pictured at full time as Manchester United lose 4-3 to Chelsea. His reaction says it all. Sir Jim Ratcliffe was in attendance to watch Manchester United against Chelsea, and he did not enjoy the end. While Sir Dave Brailsford has been at every single Manchester United game since the NEO's takeover, Sir Jim Ratcliffe made clear he would not be able to do so. Last night was a game Ratcliffe could attend visiting Stamford Bridge where he shared a box with Brailsford and Manchester United legend Peter Schmeichel. An eventful game was heading in United's favor until a stoppage time collapse saw a 3-2 lead evaporate into a 4-3 defeat. Sir Jim Ratcliffe pictured when Manchester United were winning. Sir Jim Ratcliffe had looked in good spirits during the game, with Manchester United coming from 2-0 down to lead 3-2. Alejandro Garnacho scored twice and Bruno Fernandes once, with Diogo Dalot and Anthony providing an assist each. United conceded two penalties, which were harsh, but also an impact of carelessness. Once again there was poor game management. While they provided assist, Dalot and Anthony both gave away penalties. It was a farcical defeat, which could be cost for United. Sir Jim Ratcliffe pictured at full-time v Chelsea. Sir Jim Ratcliffe was also pictured at full-time, and his demeanor appeared to change completely. The smile was gone, replaced with a grimace. He looked as fed up as the supporters felt. This is a costly defeat for United and for Ratcliffe. The team's hopes of Champions League qualification were hanging by a thread. Ratcliffe had warned that qualifying for the competition was a critical short-term issue for the club's finances. It's not looking great, and his face at full-time said it all. Manager Eric Ten Hag should be worried too. He presided over this collapse, with United allowing Chelsea a usually ridiculously high number of shooting attempts. United or Ineos don't want to have to rip it up and start again, but perhaps that is going to have to be necessary. In other news, Eric Ten Hag criticizes Manchester United players over three weaknesses and Chelsea defeat. Eric Ten Hag lamented the decision-making of the Manchester United players after their extraordinary 4-3 defeat to Chelsea. United conceded goals in the 110th and 111th minute to Cole Palmer, who completed a remarkable hat-trick to inflict a 12th Premier League defeat on Ten Hag's side this season. Brentford claimed a 99th-minute equaliser against United on Saturday and Chelsea became the third domestic side to secure victory against them through an added-time goal this season after Arsenal and Fulham. Diogo Dalla clumsily conceded a penalty that Palmer converted to make it 3-3, and the right-back embarked on a desperate raid from the restart that Chelsea counter-attacked from. An unmarked Palmer then received the ball from a corner and hit a deflected winner past Andre Onana. Of course, that frustrates me the most. Ten Hag said on the stoppage time goals, we started the game poor, making individual errors. But by that moment already I had the feeling we are dominating the game and we fought ourselves back into the game. We make ourselves in a winning position by very good football, sometimes brilliant football, scoring great goals. And then in stoppage time we didn't manage it, we didn't bring the win over the line and of course, that's frustrating. I don't know what it is but what it is that you have to do your job and they know their jobs and then you have to make the right decisions. And we didn't make the right decisions we didn't react quick enough to avoid this situation. I said today to the players, on decision making, we have to make better decisions, it's our strength. You saw again how we score from counters. We can be such a massive threat, and we have seen today an example with tempo, how we can beat our opponents, where we are unstoppable. But we have to read when to keep the ball, especially when you are winning. Keep the ball, pass and move and switch the play instead of giving the ball away or going only into long balls. Bring the ball into the opponent's half, keep passing, discourage the opponent. But then if you have to defend you have to do it proper and we made the wrong decisions. And on individual errors and that's very frustrating if you're playing a good game. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.